Hello guys, welcome to another video. Happy to have you on here. So today we're going to be looking at another amazing library. So this one is called cleave.js and you can find it at this link nocil.github.io. So don't go and type cleave.js because you're not going to get there. So this is an amazing library that allows you to format your input content when you're typing. So when you, you're getting the input from the user, sometimes it can be phone numbers, sometimes it can be credit card information, and you want to kind of format that content. Maybe put spaces after a certain number of characters, or maybe design things in different ways. And so this library is going to allow you to do just that so for example if we come here to the first option which is a credit card numbers so if i'm entering a credit card number information you can see how spaces are put after every fourth character you know those are that's how the number of credit cards are formatted so you can easily design this to work in that way so as you can see here it showcases a different um, the different formats for the different credit card styles and you can easily format them yeah so just with this code and once you have the library installed just with this code you can easily format that and so moving on if you have to format maybe um, phone numbers different countries have different code formats you know every country doesn't have the same code format so if you are going for maybe the usa or any other country you know one once you're going to be inputting the phone number they are going to be separated you know and so on and so forth you know so that's how this works so it easily allows you to format the numbers equally you can format your dates you know once the users are putting in the information you want to format them in one way or the other so just with these few lines of code you can have that working ideally you can format the time numeral figures custom options if you want to format it in a particular way um the limiters and so on and so for prefix and this works equally in react gs quite easily so this is a very little library but it offers some very useful functionality if you want to format numbers in a certain way so i really like this this simple and quite intuitive libraries as things sometimes we don't think about but they can really just save you some amazing amount of time to do to avoid doing some very little or basic functionalities so definitely check this library out it's an amazing one that i like as well and i'm going to be making use of so i hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the next one